Hello there, it's Hilary with the Armageddon Report. Lots to talk about today, so we're just going to cover everything briefly, very shallowly, that's the word. So up here we've got severe tropical storm Damri going to impact Japan quite possibly, and then China. Down here we've got tr severe tropical storm Saula going to impact Taiwan, and then China. And then we've got other things going on. Let's go this way. So uh, to explain quickly, these things are from over here. So the map system, I keep saying this, any day they're supposed to support things crossing the international dateline, but until then things are broken. So over here we have, last time I checked, 10% chance of tropical, so tropical cyclone formation in the Central Pacific. However, the site is currently only passing Central Pacific storms, not the outlook, so that's why you don't actually see a probability blob with that one. We've got spaghetti models for what could potentially be future Hurricane Ernesto in the Atlantic. So right now though, just a 20%, and then there is actually a couple more invest or disturbances or what they'd be called, whatever they'd be called, out here in the Northwest Pacific. Let's zoom out a little bit, give some context. So this, it's kind of hard to see because they're basically overlapping, but right about here is where 96 WP starts, and then right like back there is where 98 98 WP starts. I forgot to put the emphasis. So 96 and 98. There was also a 97 WP that apparently it's not really big tracked anymore. So yes, that is what's going on. Oh yes, and the quick update, I'm still planning on building this. So if you watched yesterday, I, these paths are actually hybrids of the JMA and the JTWC data. So what I wanted to do and still plan on doing is that I'm going to have individual maps where you compare can compare. Here's what JTWC thinks it's going to do. Here's what JMA does. But for now, there's tabular data. So if you're able to visualize coordinates such as these, hey, more power to you. You don't actually need the map. You just use your mind, man. Right. In news of the uh, active weather hazards, it's flipping hot still. And there's a severe thunderstorm. Watch. How about that? So all of the peachy colors, those are heat advisories, the dark pinkish red, whatever that shade would be, that is excessive heat warning, so that would be like, I forget the definition, but I think it's when heat indices reach like 110 degrees Fahrenheit, that is, whatever it is, it's really freaking hot, it's like, I want to kill myself type weather, you know, that's the, you know, it's truly, that is what it is, so now, severe thunderstorm outlook, we've got three different slight risk areas going on, and as high as 30% chance of winds, 30% chance of hail, 2% chance of a tornado. So here's the watch. You saw it already if you looked at the other map. So severe thunderstorm watch this evening until 8 p.m. CDT, Michigan and Wisconsin. And let's see, I do have it. Okay. And a mesoscale discussion down here for Mississippi. And what else we've got? Alabama, Western Florida, Panhandle. Weather watch issuance is possible. So 40% on that one. So we might be seeing a severe thunderstorm watch on that one later today. Here's the specific probability map for wind. Severe winds defined as 58 miles per hour and greater. So the greatest threat today is Wisconsin and Michigan up there with a 30% chance. So that would mean like in this part of Michigan, this random point, there's nearly a one in three chance that that point or someone within a 25 mile radius of them will see a severe wind event. So similarly-ish is the hail map where the, again the core of the threat is Wisconsin and Michigan and we've also got the slight risk area down there but we dropped the one that's over there so they've got a wind chance but not the hail chance and then tornado wise it's again Wisconsin and Michigan bogarting everything except that over here we've got North Carolina, South Carolina and Georgia with the 2% as well. So for instance that would mean if you pick this point in South Carolina there's a 2% chance at that point or someone within a 25 mile radius of them will see a tornado today. And, but lifetime percentages, I have no idea. They don't track that. You know, there's, a, there's an 87% chance that those people will see it in their lifetime. No, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, tomorrow, last day of July, apparently. How about that? The slight risk is down there. Yay? I don't know. And here's the probability map where you can see a whole bunch of states affected by the 5% and then 5% back there. But there, of course, is your slight risk. Day three, it tapers off a bit again, just 5%. So we look at the probability map where there's a whole bunch of states affected. But you know, as of now, anyway, just the 5% chance. 
Days four through eight is predictability too low, so there is something that's planning, not planning. It's not like we're over here saying, here's what the weather's going to be, and we're going to make it so. No, it means that the models or whatnot, they're, they're not in agreement about timing and a location. However, the forecasts are indicating that there will be some sort of severe weather in days four through eight. Right. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official home page of the screencast for whatever reason. Well, you can go there and you can watch the previous ones on the daily screencast tab. You can get all depressed if you watch the drought. Or you can go through this thing that kind of looks... Uh, now it's going to break. There we go. This thing that kind of looks like it's a PowerPoint thing. I don't know. You can go through that if you're interested. Wikiwix is w -I -C -K -E -D -W -X .com. There's also weather.gov and Storm Prediction Center for your severe thunderstorm needs. And then Cyclocane is CYCLOCANE.com or National Hurricane Center or Central Pacific Hurricane Center, Joint Typhoon Warning Center, Japan Meteorological Agency, Pegasa. There's all sorts of them. You just go to whichever one is your favorite. And that's it for today, isn't it? Hope you have a rest, a, a sparkling, bubbly week or something, yeah.